Hello everybody, thank you very much for tuning in to Lorian's weekly reading, which is your psychic tarot guidance for the week ahead. We're starting August already, I can't believe it. Now I know I haven't got all the other videos up yet, there's been a mixture of technological problems and busyness time problems, um, but this reading will bring to you the first week of the 1st of August to the 7th of August, and the rest of the August videos will be up as soon as possible, probably tomorrow, the 1st of August, so don't worry about that. Um, this week I thought we'd have a little bit of a change because this deck has been really wanting to be used I think for the last eight days so I thought well I'll see what you have to bring for this week ahead. Um, this is the Archangel Oracle deck by Doreen Virtue, just got some candle wax on there um, and it's all about I think nurturing because that's the image and the feeling that I'm getting when I try and connect to the energy of the week ahead. going to be busy. August is already being an incredibly busy month. I think people are going to have to fight a little bit. Um, not literally. So let's see what's going on. As always, this is a general reading for all signs, no matter what your rising moon or sun. But if it is more personal guidance and specifically designed for you and your question, just go to the website below, pick a reading, and I'll be happy to read for you. It's always a pleasure to hear your comments as well and to get more information as to what you need some assistance with. If you do need anything and you can't see it, just let me know and I'll be able to take a look for you as well. Okay, so let's have a look, see. Wow. Okay. All right. I think, you know, you could just read the cards and, you know, you know, think, okay, well, this is basically succinct. This is telling you that there's nothing to worry about. I know the world at the moment seems like everything's going topsy-turvy. I know that. There are a thousand reasons to be worried. Um, but to be honest, there are also more than a thousand reasons to be happy and grateful and to put back into the universe a good strong energy for it to work with i mean here we have you are safe now this is says that archangel michael you know and it's i am protecting you against lower energies and guarding you your loved ones and your home if you ever feel like you need a little bit of extra protection you can always call on archangel michael you can always do that and just ask him to protect you through whatever difficult time you're going through and I also feel that this would be maybe giving you a little bit of extra strength um, just to heap you up a little bit um, but I think this is you know everybody's worried about going to you know on holiday going here going there because it feels unsafe to travel I feel that this needs to be sort of raise your vibration let that fear go you are safe, you are protected, and just have faith, you know, almost like walking on a tightrope, like he's doing on a very long golden road. Keep your path simple, you know, don't worry about straying from it. I don't feel that you need to be worried about that, but I do feel to take back your power. Fear is giving power over to the people who are making you feel fear. That's why things go wrong. Fear leads to ignorance and ignorance leads to hate which is fortunately is building up in the world. Just take back your power. And it says use your God given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. I think that this is about saying no I'm not believing what you're telling me or no I'm not going to think that way or I'm not going to feel that way just because somebody tells me to. I'm going to take back my control of my own life and I'm going to go on holiday or I'm going to feel protected or I'm going to do this and I'm going to take the risk to make that job change or, you know, and just feeling more confident about yourself and your inner workings there because at the end of the day, there's divine order. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order that's coming through for you. So I do think that this is basically saying it may seem like chaos at the moment, but there's an orderly plan. You know, God has a plan if you believe in God. Or it could be that the universe has a plan, the angels have a plan. Either way, they are trying to strive to make things a better place, but you're part of that. You can you can be part of that. It won't work, I think, without your help. You know, without this kind of realisation that fear is unnecessary. 
you know what I mean? This is all building up to something, maybe a greater awareness than we realise. And we're kind of just, at the moment, happy to be pawns and digging underneath. But I think that we have to connect and go, okay, use me as you will. I'll carry on, I'll be strong and I'll carry forwards and I won't let fear overtake me. And I think that's very important. Now, all is well saying that everything is exactly happening as it's supposed to. With hidden blessings, you'll soon understand. And it's exactly how divine order is. You know, it's saying that, the, you know, everything may seem a little bit topsy-turvy and a bit of a spiral, but things will be brought back into balance. Just needs your confidence in the universe and your faith that things are going to go okay. Light a candle again if you wish. Um, cleanse yourself, cleanse your friends, family, home. Make sure there's positive vibes coming in and maybe pay it forward a little bit with good deeds. But either way, don't give in to fear because fear is going to be temporary. You know, there's no need to be worried too much about the things. Take back your power, make a stand, make something that you can do and maybe pledge something for August. For instance, I pledge that August I'm going to make sure I do this or I pledge for August I make sure I'm going to achieve this. You will do it and you will be an incredibly fulfilled by doing it. And I truly think that August, yes, is hard work, but it's going to pay off. So I really wish you all the best, everybody. Do let me know how things go. Please go with many blessings and faith in yourselves and others. Again, show kindness and compassion. And I wish you all the very best for the month ahead. If you do want a private reading, you know where to go. The link below, just down there. And um, I'll be happy to help you with any questions that you may have. Love, light, blessings and eternal gratitude for supporting my channel. Thank you so much and speak soon.